Are you looking for a note-taking tool or a digital file cabinet? Or are you looking for a daily journal or a recipe keeper or even a task management system? If your answer is yes, then you are at the right place. There are many tools available, but today I will go over with you how to use Evernote app. Evernote is a cross-platform application, meaning this is available on desktop, Mac, iOS, and Android. My name is Anshul Kumar, and I make YouTube videos on digital transformation, personal growth, and also assisting my clients to be more productive. With Evernote, you can focus on what matters most. You may call Evernote as your second brain or a digital van where you can have anything and everything stored digitally. So just sign up on evernote.com, start adding your content and your documents, and find everything by the click of a mouse button. Also, if you are new to this channel, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for further notifications. So let's get to the Evernote tutorial now. How to create a note. I'm on my personal Evernote account, which is the premium version. You can always start with the free version, and that has some great features too. There are three sections to Evernote once you log in into your account, as you can see on the screen. The leftmost section is where you have your folders or notebooks. The second one on the middle column shows the title of the note, and the rightmost section is where you write your notes or store documents. To create a note, use the plus icon and start writing as a part of your heading. Like uh, just for an example, let me say recipes, okay? And then I can start writing any notes. I need to get a recipe for my cooking this weekend. And there are various tools available on the top. You see, you can bullet it and uh, you can have a divider out here. You can do a checklist out here. Task one, task two, put another divider. Uh, also, one of the great features is that you can have tables out here and then start creating a table or a plan what you want to create. You can click on this drop out button and then start uh, putting different colors and shades over here and make it look nice. How to create a notebook. What you can do is to create a notebook, you need to go to your notebook section. And like we created a note, top left, click on this. And let's say I want to call this my recipes. You can treat that as private or you can share it in future. You can just say create. Now this, my recipes is a notebook for me. What I can also do is, since I will be accessing this notebook pretty frequently, I can go here and add to shortcuts. Shortcuts in Evernote is nothing but like a favorite. So the moment I do here, my recipes will come over here. So I can go over here and I can create, start making notes out here or even clip certain images. How to clip a web page? We can clip a web page of your interest or if you are browsing anything, we can capture that entire screenshot or save that text into Evernote for reading it later or referring it later. The only requirement over here is, as you can see on the screen, you need to download add-on for Chrome or Safari. 
And this is the way it works. Just select this icon over here, and this icon will give me multiple options, like I can save it as an article or full page or bookmark. My personal preference is to do simplified article as it eliminates all the ads, and it's a very clean interface. And I can organize it right here, and I can say, that uh, I want to save this in Evernote tutorial folder and then save the clip. So it's a very easy and quick way of saving anything from your browser or any web page while you are looking into it and then going back into Evernote and searching for it. You can always put it in your favorites over there and let me go back and see if it has come over here it will take a few minutes and there you see there is the recipes see how clean and simple is the interface and you can keep it for further reference how to create table of contents with an evernote you can have multiple notes within one item or one subject right for instance, within Evernote tutorial, now I have three notes. I created these Evernote tutorial steps so that I can follow and give this demo to all of you. The recipe is there, and this is one folder as a sample I created. Now, in a typical scenario, you might have 100 notes within this category. Now, it will be easier if you can create table of content. It's very easy. You select all these three nodes and go on the right hand side and say create table of contents. And there you have table of contents right in front of you. If I need to go to my, my favorite carrot cake recipe, I just click over here and go straight to that. So imagine a scenario when you have thousands of nodes and if you have the table of contents, it will be easier. One quick trick I wanted to give it to you now you see the table of contents is all the way down. If you want to keep this on the top of your list, you can go over here on the heading and just put a dot or some asterisk mark and you there you see it goes on the top. There are multiple payment plans available for Evernote, but I would suggest that you start with the basic plan and get a feel of it. There are quite a bit of features which are really interesting and useful to start with and then move to the premium plan i have been on the upgraded plan for the last 10 years so if you have any further questions or even clarifications or where you have doubts as you are using evernote please feel free to leave a comment below and i will for sure get back to you so once again if you are new to my channel Please feel free to subscribe to this or hit the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.